What's up YouTube? Peasy here, bringing you guys another video on the channel. If you guys are new here, feel free to go down there, smack like button, and subscribe. And let's get into today's video. So, um, I was doing some research on YouTube because I didn't know how to find a hunting rifle. But I actually found a video showing us where and how to get one. So, um, we are going to go do that today. And we're also going to work on getting... Or not getting... But maybe taking over the bandit camp up on the hill up there. So we're going to go ahead and clear out the back of the truck. Just so we can go and do some stuff. We'll put that on there for now because we don't need it. And let's go ahead and store the rest of the food that we have up here in yep, this one. And we'll store it away. And I don't think that we're going to need any guns if we do... Um, I don't know if we have any ammo, actually. Let's see. Um, we have six bullets in that. We don't have a lot of ammo right now to waste. So, let's see. I know the AK doesn't have anything in it, um, but we can check. Yeah, it's completely empty. So, we're going to go ahead and put that back up there. And where is the bow that we got? Um, I gotta find it right quick. I know we have... Yep, there it is. Go ahead and put that down there, and we'll take the hunting arrows. And I know we have to have a quiver. Um, so we have to go figure out how to get that right quick. Um, I think I know how to do it. Let's see, we'll check. Yes, here. No, not there. Um, yeah, here. Six leather and... What was it? Three sewing kits? Yep, three sewing kits. Um, we should have that, actually. It should be in one of these drawers. Um, where is the leather? I need to find the sewing kits first, which I know there's some in here. There's two right there. Um, let's see. It's right upstairs. I know we have leather. I just can't remember exactly where. Um, yep, there's three. Um, we'll take one of these... And, oh dang, we need one more. Hopefully we have one somewhere else. Uh-oh, not that I'm seeing. Um, we can make a less expensive one, so that's not a very big deal. Although, it would have been nice to have another one that is better. Um, we just need rags for it, though. So let's go ahead and run back downstairs. I know we have plenty of rags in one of these drawers. Yep, right here. And let's go ahead and craft up a basic quiver. Oh, all we needed was rags. Okay. But um, let's go ahead and do that and equip it. Wait a minute. Maybe I have to do it like this. There we go. And we do have a helmet and armor on, so we're we're pretty secure from any damage we may take from enemies. Um, let's go ahead and put the arrows in the quiver. There we go. Three. And, okay, we do now have arrows there. Okay. Now, since we're ready, let's go ahead and uh, go find that hunting rifle. We've been really needing a hunting rifle here lately. We have a lot of stuff that we could do with that. And, um... There's some more stuff that I want to work on later, like finding a dog and all that stuff. And from what I understand, the developer is also going to be adding a, um, a new breed of dog, if not two new breeds of dogs. So, um, the one that I do currently know is a Rottweiler. And um, I'm not sure if there's going to be another breed, but I think there will be. I'm pretty excited for this upcoming uh, update he's going to do for this game. I really do enjoy this game. And if you guys have any other suggestions of what I should try out or post on the channel, preferably a survival game similar to this one. It doesn't have to be like completely similar, but something you know where we can craft and survive. Um, let me know for sure, because I would love to hear from you guys. But, um, okay, it's not here. I do not want to be here. That's where the lurker, or not lurker, uh, I forgot the name of those things. Seeker, I think? I can't remember. 
But um, let's see. I got to see where I'm at right quick. We are right here. And I think we need to go up this road right here. I think. Like I said, I did see a video of uh, the location of where I can find one. Um, so it may or may not be 100% accurate. Let's see. I think it's here. Okay, this looks like a bandit camp though. I am going to save it right here. Because um, it, it looks like there should be bandits up here. So let's take it kind of easy. Uh, let's kind of go around it. Because it's, it's there, if there is bandits, I do not want to get... Oh yeah, there is definitely bandits here. And there is plenty of them, let me tell you that. Man, there's a crap ton of bandits here. Um, okay. We are most certainly going to have to be careful here. Um, I need to take out one of these guys. Because if I take out one, then the other bandits run over and check his body. Let's see, that should get him to go look over there. There he is. He's dead. And... That's another one. Let's try to be just as careful as we can. Because like I said, these guys do not play around when they find you. Yeah, we're going over there and check your buddy's body, buddy. See. Got him. Got him. Okay, I think that was all of them. Not 100% sure, but I think it was. We're going to get our uh, 1911 out, just in case there's one more lurking about. We do not want to uh, die, especially after we've gotten this far. Um, I really don't want to loot a whole lot right yet, because I want to make sure that we're kind of safe. Um, I will take the arrows if I can salvage any. Um, let's kind of be careful. Let's check in here. What's that? Oh, an arrow? I'll take the arrow. Uh, we'll, like I said, we'll loot these bodies in just a minute. Um, I'll take that arrow. Um, let's check in here. Like I said, I'm just kind of looting and checking the outskirts because I don't want to get killed by a bandit and have all the loot on us. Let's go ahead and go up here. There's a mounting part, which we don't need for right now. Uh, we will work on eventually getting a mounted gun for the truck, or the SUV or whatever. But um, here's some stuff right here. I don't know if we need to take really any of that other stuff. Um, leather gloves, we don't need leather gloves. Um, Gunpowder, sure. Uh, a full restore, absolutely. Um, tactical gloves, and what do you have on you, my good sir? Um, some okay stuff. Not, like, great, but it is, it's okay. Um, let's run over here and check these bodies. I know there's a shotgun right here. Um, so, okay. Nothing there. Let's go ahead and check this dude. He has gloves. Uh, water and salt, which we'll definitely take. And nothing in the pockets. Uh, uh, oh, sweet, we got another M4, or a M4. I don't think we have an M4. Take those caps. Um, that, and the salt. And nothing else. Okay. So, that is some fairly decent loot. I'm pretty happy about what we got there. Especially the M4. Um, I am just, I'm not going anywhere yet, though, guys. I'm just going to pull the car up there a little closer so we don't have to run so far back down this way. Let's go ahead and pull the car up here. <clears throat> and there we go. Car is up here and out of the way. We're going to now put all this stuff in there so it doesn't weigh us down. Because we did get a pretty good little haul from that. Alright, now we can check the houses. Uh, let's start with the smaller shed first. Oh, there's a dude in there. Crowbar. Let's go ahead and open this. I think this is, um, let's see what it is. Yeah, Scott. Okay, yeah, I know who this is. I don't know if uh, he's still bugged or not. Has been rescued. Yes, he can join my crew. Okay, take the cola, the chocolate bar, and the other cola. Duct tape, I guess I can take it. Um, let's check these cars. 
Oh, there's an engine in that one. Okay. That's some pretty good stuff. Let's go ahead and reload this. Um, let's check this truck. Nothing in here. Check this one as well. Nothing in there. I think that was that for the cars. Um, did we loot this guy? I think we did. Yeah, we looted him. Okay, he doesn't have any good thing, anything good on him. Um, let's go ahead and check this house right quick and see what's in here. Kind of scared to look in there because there might be a bandit. Okay. And what is this? Oh, I need two batteries for this. Um, okay, so I can't change the batteries because I need two. Uh, we do have batteries back down at the base, though. What is it? <gasps> A broken hunting rifle. Sweet. I don't think you're supposed to be able to reach in there and do this. But, um, <laughs> we're gonna do it. Uh, I'll take that. And split fishing line and reels and electronic parts. Um, I'd like to get that backpack. What is this? Another electronic part. Okay, so we can't reach anything else because we need batteries first. Um, I don't think we have any batteries, guys. So we may have to run back to the base. Which kind of sucks because I think uh, bandits respawn after you leave an area and then come back to it. Uh, whoa, we better take that. Um, oh man, I don't even know if we have any batteries at the base. Um, okay, we're going to make a run back to <clears throat> our base. And we're going to grab what batteries we have, because we should have some. Okay, guys, so uh, the game ended up freezing, and I had to reload it. So um, we're now back, and we have to recollect everything. But, um, yeah, we're now back, and it kind of sucks because we had a lot of stuff, and I think the loot changes whenever the game resets like that. But um, let's go ahead and take what we have. Uh, we'll go ahead and take most of this. Let's see, we'll take that. Uh, we'll take his boots, and we'll take the filter for sure, or both the filters for that. Uh, there should be more. I could have swore I killed more bandits than that. Let's go ahead and get the pistol out, though. That way we can take them down if we have to. I'm pretty sure we already looted this guy. No, we didn't. Uh, I'll take the salt and the shotgun shells. Yeah, I think there was more, but they kind of despawned whenever I ran over here. But um, like I was saying, we do need to go get some batteries. So um, I will see you guys back at uh, this this place. Okay, we're now back at the base. And we need to drop off some of this stuff. Uh, I don't know where we're going to put it, though. Let's see. We can go ahead and store this shotgun in there. Um, we can store the 50 cal. We can, we'll keep the 9 on us, and we'll put that in there. Keep the shotgun shells on us. And we can store the other stuff like this in there. The salt, we should have salt. Yep, the salt in there. We can store the sewing kits in there. The pencils, we'll keep those on us. Or no, we don't need them on us. Um, we'll go ahead and store the filters in there. And the boots in there. And we'll go ahead and put this candy bar in here. Alright, now we can do that. Let's go ahead and go back to our equipment and add arrows. There we go. And let's not forget the batteries if there is any. None in there. There's none in there either. None in there. And none in there. Let's see. We should have some. Yes, we do. Sweet. Okay, I'm just going to take all four of those just in case. Because uh, we we don't want to accidentally forget anything. So, um, now another thing I know that we need to look out for is a code. Now, the problem is, is we need to find a, a car 
to get the code, I believe. Because I think that is the only way <clears throat> that we can actually uh, open that door. So we're going to find out. Oh, dang it. I forgot the screwdriver, too. <clears throat> okay, I now have the screwdriver, and we are going to go up there and fix that lock now. Now, it has been a little while since um, we were at this place. I did wait a day. So, um, hopefully, we don't end up... Um, whoa, that could end bad. But um, hopefully, we don't end up with more bandits there. That's really the last thing that we need. But um, if there is, it's not a huge deal. We can just um, take them out with the bow again. But, um, let's go ahead and... Oh, there's a bear. I think I've seen a bandit, too. And stop the car and save the game. Just in case. Okay. And it looks like we are in a bandit-free zone. Let's go ahead and hop back over this and run over here and save old Mr. Scott again. Come here, Mr. Scott. Alright, we now have Scott recruited to our base. Um, let's go ahead and see here. Because I know we need to fix this. So let's go ahead and do it. I don't know what the passcode is, though. Um, the battery's changed, so I don't think we'll have to do that again. Um, we can't loot that. We'll take that hunting rifle. And we'll take whatever we can grab from the window. And we can't reach that, which I'd really like to have. Um, unfortunately, though, we cannot reach it. And it looks like there is some more stuff possibly above. Um, wait a second. What if the code is here? I didn't think about that. Let's see. Nothing there. And nothing here. Dang it. Okay, so... Hmm. I wonder how we can get in there, because I don't have the code. Okay. So, um... <clears throat> I am going to try to figure out where this code is. I may have to look up a video on it because I, I don't remember um, where to find those codes and stuff. So we may have to wait for a event to happen and then for a car to crash and then we get the code from it. Um, there's one code that I think I remember. It could be from another... Nope, that's not it. Okay, so um, I'm going to go ahead and return to our base right quick. And um, we'll wait for an event to happen. And then we can go and unlock this door. Alright, we're now back at the base. And all we need to do now is just wait for an event to happen. And whenever one does happen, I will see you guys then. Okay, guys, so, um, I was doing some more research, and, um, apparently the lock is, um, not from a crashed car. It is from an outhouse, uh, setting behind the base. So, um, we are gonna have to go and, um, find that code, so, <laughs> at least now we know. So, it should be right here that we make a left turn. Yep, just right up here. Okay. Um, okay, we passed it, but that's okay. We'll just, we'll just whip our car around right here. Whoa! Well, at least we landed it. Um, okay. We gotta go this way. Um, that was crazy. Um, let's go ahead and drive right up here. And 
Yeah, it's right here. Okay. I couldn't remember. Hopefully, there's not any bandits up here. Let's go ahead and save the game. There shouldn't be any bandits, but that does not mean that there isn't. Uh, nope, we're good. We'll go ahead and pull the car up there. And then we can uh, find that code. Let's go ahead and stop the car right here. And the code should be up there in that outhouse. So let's go ahead and see. Okay, so we do have to crack open this place. There we go. And there's the code. And what is the code? 1296. Okay. 1296. Let's go ahead and enter that code up. Um, oh, dang it. Um, the batteries should still be on us. No, dang it, I put them away because I, um, got busy. Um, I, <laughs> I'll be back when I have the batteries. Okay, we are now here, and I now have the batteries and the screwdriver. So, the, um, passcode is 1296. Or 12... Nope, hold on. We have to go back up there and recheck it. I do know what's up here. So, oh, wait. Oh, so the code changes. Okay. Let's go ahead and open this. And it is now 6246. Okay. 6246. Remember that it will also be different for you guys, too. There we go. Let's go ahead and grab these back, or this backpack. Um, these arrows. Sweet. There's a gear in here as well. Rifle ammo and 12 gauge ammo. And weapon part. So nothing good in that one. And oh there's a new M4. Okay. We will definitely take that stuff. Absolutely. Um, is there anything up here? Let's go ahead and try to take a look. At least I'm trying. Oh, let's jump right here. I don't think there's anything up there, because obviously if there was, we could get up there. But um, that is all of that stuff in there. It's pretty good loot. Um, that's the new M4. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. See what it looks like. Okay, I like the iron sights on it. Let's go ahead and see what we can customize it for, though. Um, let's go ahead and put it up here and modify... Suppress your grip. Empty. Oh, okay. Sweet. Is there any bullets in it, though? I don't think there was. Um, no, but we can reload it. There we go. Might as well have it reloaded. No point in uh, having it ready if we can't use it. And I don't think... Yeah, there's nothing in there now. Um, let's go ahead and check these, which there's nothing in that one, so there shouldn't be anything in anything else. Um, let's see, what is that? We'll take the boards, because we do need those. Let's go ahead and check over here, around these cars as well. Um, we don't need rags. Take the components, we do need components. Take all that that I can, actually. Um, we are definitely taking the axe. We tend to go through axes pretty quick. But since that is pretty much all the loot here, we can now return to the base. Alright, we're now back at the base. And we can now take a look at some of the stuff that we need to finish working on. Because I would love to get that um, s sniper, I guess you could say, nice and fixed up. So let's go ahead and grab it right quick, along with the gear. Um, where is it at? Oh, we already have it here. Okay, okay. Um, we'll leave the rest, except the M4, out here. Because we don't really have anything else to do right now with the SUV. So we'll go ahead and put the M4 in here. <clears throat> Looks pretty good. I like that. Um, let's see here. Now, since we are 
at the base. We have to find... It should be in here, actually. Uh, no, it's not in there. Did I forget it? For surely not. Okay, it took me a minute to find it, but um, I did find it. It was uh, down here in one of the boxes. But um, we are going to need to upgrade our workbench, I'm pretty sure. Um, we're going to have to level it up until we can do that right there, I think. S unless we need a, let's see here, a repair bench. Yes, we need a repair bench. Okay, we'll go ahead and place that down right here. And we need low quality metal, which we can get all of that actually. We should have everything we need. Go ahead and grab a couple stacks of that and then a stack of that. Because we can melt down the metal outside. Then we can get this nice and repaired up to where we can use it. Let's go ahead and put this in here. Let's see, that's going to give us four. And we're going to need at least, let's see. To make, let's see, to make a gear, yeah, we're going to need another eight. So, that is not a big deal. We can do that. We'll run back up here. Grab another eight of these. Or actually, um, I guess we could do actually just uh, four. Because that should give us the amount we need. Let's go ahead and add this up in the fireplace. And we can get it to melting. Yes, there we go. Okay, and that is just an hour. And we'll go ahead and rest an hour. That way we can get that done pretty quick. <clears throat> we are going to have to get some food here pretty soon. So, we'll have to get to that. That may be for next video though, because we have done quite a bit this video, you guys. Let's go ahead and add all this to this. There we go. And we need to be outside to make a gear. Let's go ahead and let's see. Yeah, should be. Yep, yeah, there we go. Go ahead and craft that. It's almost done. And there we go. Then let's go ahead and fix this up to where we can now use it. And to repair this, we need. Let's see. What do we need for this? Place item to see cost. Whoa. Broken hunting rifle. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay, so that's just a repair bench. Anyways, we still are going to need that. But um, we're going to have to level this up to um, craft that. But um, we'll do that for another video. Um, I probably am going to end this one off. That way I can uh get ready to fix that up for the next video i do want to thank you guys for stopping by it really does mean a lot to me and i'm glad that you guys are enjoying this content that i'm putting out and um if you want to show your support back to me go ahead and subscribe we are now on the way to 800 subscribers guys and we can do it together thank you guys for watching and i will see you all in the next one peasy out